welcome back to DXB today, where we're talking beauty, not just on the outside, but also in our homes. So we welcome an interior designer. Welcome Grace Ibot Ibot to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So I want to first talk about your, uh, your Instagram, Your Homes Abundance. So what are you hoping to achieve with this Instagram? Basically, I believe homes can attract so much so much abundance, love, but also wellness and tranquility, calm and peace. And at the moment, what's happening in the world, I just believe that we need to nurture ourselves in our sanctuary as much as possible. Mm, Grace, I want to know so much more about this. I'm so excited because I feel like I'm quite a spiritual person and I should be a lot more conscious of my home surroundings. I mean, it is where we sleep, it's where we wake up, it's where we have dinner with our family, whatever it may be. So could you define Feng Shui for me and tell me exactly what it does if it's done right? Right, so basically Feng Shui is coming from the Chinese ancient art. It's an art of furniture placement, but also, you know, we have consciousness about the colors, the shape, the smell. So you basically creating like an intentional decor mm -hmm. into your place to enhance well-being or attract something that you want in your life, mm -hmm. like love or something else. So I am creating my own office in my home. I'm waiting for my furniture to arrive and I can't wait to just decorate it. And what should I think of in terms of a feng shui point of view? I love this question because it's so practical. So let's go through it. If you want to set up a desk, a feng shui desk, what you have to do basically is making sure you facing the door, right? Oh. Because the door attract opportunities. So this is where you see opportunities. So you want to be seated where you have a clear view of the door or the entrance. Okay. This is number one. Number two is making sure you open up the traffic. It's easy to go to your office. I mean, either your office or your desk. Then what I can recommend to you is putting a nice plant on your desk, uh -huh. you know? The plant represents growth, mm. nature. It's usually calm, me, uh, calm you down in a way or giving you this energy of, okay, I want to grow, I want to expand. So this is something that you, you can do. And the last thing that you have to think about, please, is clearing the clutter away. Yes. Mm. Because usually your clutter represents your mind. Mm -hmm, so yeah. if your mind is messy, but you want to get it right, just remove the clutter. I can definitely relate to that. I know when my house is a mess, I feel like my life is a mess yeah. as well. Yes. Now you've spoke, Grace, a little bit there about furniture placement. Can you talk to us about how colors can also have an impact on the space? Exactly. So actually I have a really good um, Instagram reels where I'm talking about colors, right? And basically yellow. I mean, everything has um, a meaning. Yellow is for optimism. So if you feel a little bit down, I will literally advise you to wear or place some yellow colors to give you a little bit of boost. White, for example, is very calming color, right? So you can definitely play around. This is what I do at my client's place where I make sure I use either like lit lately, the trend is all about muted color scheme, right? Because it's actually calming, but also grounding. So you can use uh, terracotta or brown color because it represents the earth color or energy that ground you. Here's the thing, Grace. I know there's like talks about like different colors representing different things. I know with Feng Shui, there's wealth corners, there's opportunity corners, these types of things. Is it just a spiritual art or is there some logic and science to it for people who maybe don't subscribe to that sort of thinking? To be honest, it's all about a mix of both. You don't have to be spiritual to apply Feng Shui. However, it's literally something also logical. Because the way you place uh, your, your sofa or your bed 
should make sense. Mm. When, you, when you go to your place, a new place, as you mentioned, you would definitely see and say to yourself, actually, it doesn't make sense to put my bed this way, but I prefer this way. Why we have some feng shui experts? Because we have these little tricks that make the, the, the difference. So you don't have to be spiritual. You just need also to apply your logical instinct and you set up. <laughs> and there's an energy to our whole house and the direction our house faces also has an energy to it, correct? And even the, the number of our house, that has an energy. How do these tie into feng shui? Oh, that's a really good point. Basically, I just believe that everything has an aura. Mm. Everything has an energy, right? Everything has a meaning. So each number, each um, positioning, each items will bring you something different. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of getting to know what does that mean, having like a round um, table or a curved furniture, right? It gives you some warmth. It gives you some, um, some unity. And lit again, lately with what's happening in the world, this is exactly what you, uh, that we want. Incredible. Well, thank you so much, Grace, for giving us an insight there into Feng Shui. And I know that I can see from Faris, he's very interested in this. He's going to be going know. home and moving all his furniture later today. I want today. to know the best place for my rabbit's litter tray. Oh, yes, I'm sure you do. Well, it's now time for DXB in 60. Nimi, are you ready? I'm so ready. The question is, is Lauren ready? Uh, Lauren, I'm always ready. You know we always put you on the spot on this show. You're no stranger to it. So DXB in 60, we'll put 60 seconds on the clock. I'll be asking you lots of questions to just to find out a bit more about you. Okay, great. Okay, in three, two, one. Lauren, if not in beauty, which industry would you be working in? Ooh, TV presenting. Oh, I love that. One thing you cannot live without? My children. Your motto in life and in work? Go with the flow. <laughs> your hidden gem in Dubai? My crystals. Your inspiration or your muse? Um, myself. Mm, book, a book you're reading at the moment? Ooh, it's called Lessons in Chemistry. Oh wow, okay. Top series you've watched this summer? I just watched the Harry Potter, Harry Potter series. Oh wow, okay. I've never seen it before. Um, a top podcast recommendation? Um, Planet Lauren. Mm -hmm. Coming soon. Yeah. Uh, why Dubai? Um, well, I moved here 15 years ago and now I say why not Dubai? Mm -hmm. uh, if you could hang with someone for 24 hours, who would it be? Um, I think you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'll take it. I just got goosebumps. <laughs> uh, the most interesting person you've ever met in the city? Ooh, my daughter. Oh, wow. Yeah. I've actually seen her on your story. She's <laughs> the right character. Uh, 60 Seconds is up. Lauren, thank you so much. It's been wonderful to have you here as thank our guest co-host. Lauren, I'm sure we're going to see you on the show at some point. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'll be back and I want to see you with right. pink hair. Grace, <laughs> thank you so much. We need to talk furniture very, very soon. Okay? Definitely, <laughs> we will. Right now, I need to go get changed because I'm going to be doing a spin class right after this. I'll see you back here in a few minutes.